What is up guys? So I got a lot of questions about uh, should you get the Bold M1 or the Galaxy A20? Uh, now you would think this would be an easy choice, but the Galaxy A20 actually has some advantages over the Bold M1. Uh, some pretty big advantages uh, that we will get into. So let's go ahead and get started. So the build on the A20 is a plastic build and it doesn't feel as premium as the Bold M1, um, but it is still very nice feeling. It has a nice weight to it and uh, you have the dual camera setup on the back fingerprint scanner flash little Samsung branding you've got your volume rockers and power button on the side and down below you still have your headphone jack USB type C and a single firing speaker now on the front you have a pretty slim bezels and the water drop notch uh, which looks really good now the bold in one is heavier and just feels more premium since you have a glass and metal design dual camera setup bold branding at the bottom uh, you do have your power button and volume rockers on the side here you've also got USB type C single firing speaker and your headphone jack and on the bold in one we have a full screen display very slim bezels with our built-in fingerprint scanner now the A20 actually has a super AMOLED display, it's a 720p display. Now I actually prefer the colors of this AMOLED display over the Bold M1 even though that has an AMOLED display as well. Uh, this Samsung panel just gives off some really great colors. Now on the Bold M1 you do have a 6.4 inch display, like I said it is notchless and you do have 403 for the PPI so much higher PPI and it is 1080p so this overall is the better display, uh, it's just that of uh, the colors on the Super AMOLED panel are just really excellent, very accurate. Now the viewing experience on here I think it's better on the Bold M1 uh, just because you just have that full display, uh, slim bezels and uh, on the A20 you have the little you know water drop notch, uh, kind of bigger bezels down here just a little bit and um, you know it just looks better but the A20's color uh, like I said is just better so you see how this is orange, this is actually orange uh, that it looked in real life and this one gives it like a peach color so as you can see a big difference in just color accuracy alright let's go ahead and run the speaker test starting with the Bold M1 So the A20 uh, doesn't sound bad, but the Bolden one is louder and it also uh, sounds a little muffled compared to the uh, Bolden one. Yeah, it definitely sounds like somebody's like putting their thumb over the speaker. Now on the Bold M1 you have Android 9, but it is planned to get Android 10. You have the Helio P70 processor along with the Mali G72 GPU. So you're looking at a mid-tier uh, kind of chip on here. You do have 128 gigs of built-in storage, so plenty of storage with micro SD support up to 128 gigs along with 4 gigs of RAM. Now on the A20 you have Android uh, 9.0 with one UI, and this is supposed to get Android 10 surprisingly. Uh, you do have the Xenon. 7884 in the Mali G71 and they're both uh, around the you know the same kind of experience of uh, sort of mid-tier gaming on here on both these phones uh, this one you get 32 gigs of storage and 3 gigs of RAM but 1 terabyte of micro uh, SD support so technically you do have more storage on the um, Galaxy A20 let's go ahead and run a quick speed test exit all those out Let's start off with YouTube, 3, 2, 1. As you can see, very on par with each other. Uh, let's go ahead and try Instagram, 3, 2, 1. And let's go ahead and try Call of Duty Mobile, 3, 2, 1. As you can see, the Bolden one in the lead right now and it looks like it's going to take it here but the Galaxy A20 as you can see is not that far behind Golden One got it first Now for the cameras you have a 13 megapixel wide and a 5 megapixel ultra wide shoots in 1080p 
the front facing camera is 8 megapixels, shoots in 1080p for the Galaxy A20. Now you do have the same kind of setup, 16 megapixel standard, only bolted one in a 5 megapixel depth sensor, shoots in 1080p. The pop up selfie camera is 13 megapixels, shoots in 1080p. Now if you just want a straight up answer, I think the Galaxy A20 has a better camera uh, and it has that ultra wide camera. So if I was buying, you know, these phones for the camera, uh, the A20 just has a better camera. And like I said, ultra wide is just awesome instead of the depth sensor only bold in one now here are some steals so you can check it out for yourself you can see the color here's another close-up of the microphone so as you can see they both do really good I just prefer the a20 for the color accuracy and it might have to do something with the display on here uh, as we saw in that video, it's just more accurate with color. All right, so here is also a very important thing. So uh, the Bolden one does not have NFC for mobile payments. So the Galaxy A20 actually does. So if you're into that, you're going to miss that on the Bold uh, M1. And also uh, the fingerprint scanner situation. So it kind of is up to you which one you prefer. So the physical one is faster. The one on the A20 is just, is just faster, right? But, you know, you have to pick it up to unlock it. And with the Bolden 1, I can just, you know, boom. It's not as fast as that one, but, you know, it's easier if you have your phone, you know, face down or, um, you know, down like this. And um, that's one thing to consider as well. And the biggest difference between both these phones is going to be battery life. So, Galaxy A20, one of the best performers uh, in the battery life, 4,000 milliamp battery, 15 watt fast charging this phone will get you almost 10 hours of screen on time yes 10 hours of screen on time watch my um a battery drain uh, test on it um, the bolded one the battery drain test was like six hours and 30 minutes so as you can see big difference since you have that 1080p display I think and then you have a smaller battery so it's a 3500 milliamp uh, 18 watt fast charging so it does charge faster and you also have wireless charging uh, which is a bonus which the A20 lacks uh, so if you're into that wireless charging is on here which is awesome uh, so they're about the same price I think the uh, A20 is one eight and the uh, Bolden one is still 200 right now so um, that's a, a huge thing to pay attention to so battery life is just going to be a beast on here so what do you guys think as we saw uh, it wasn't so cut and dry with these two phones as you can see they ha both have uh, very nice benefits and you know trade-offs with each other so which one would you guys pick up be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one